This is the bad boy Joey Janela, and you're watching Dre 41. Yo, it is your boy Dre 41, aka Mr. 4K, aka Drake 41, and if you are watching this, you are watching one of the very best wrestling games that have ever came uh, out ever. Point blank. We're just going to put it out there. Ever. Even though uh, Kenta Kobashi has The Rock's entrance, this is the call that I made of Kenta Kobashi. Yes, for some reason it shows him with blue eyes. I, I'm not sure why. It's, it's very odd. Uh, but this is supposed to be Orange Crush Kenta Kobashi. I tried to make him in his black attire, but for whatever reason, it, it just it didn't work out for me. I couldn't find it. I don't know. Um, creating wrestlers in a video game that came out 18 years ago isn't as easy as one is to assume that it is. But nonetheless, I did the best job that I could with what I had in the game. And he is going to be going up against one of, if not, the greatest Japanese wrestlers ever, Mitsuharu Misawa. And, um, yeah, I'm letting the computer play this. Uh, the, the main reason why I'm letting the computer play this is I want to see how the computer plays uh, with two Japanese legends in one game. Uh, this is probably what I'm going to be doing with this game as I just created a bunch of Japanese legends and I really didn't create anybody else. Uh, if there's a particular wrestler from this time or earlier that you would like me to create in this game and have them go one-on-one, -on -one, uh, definitely let me know, but... Man, this is so tough to be able to have this type of match. And no, like when I was a kid, I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I knew about New Japan, uh, mainly from watching WCW. Shouts to WCW. Um, subscribe to their YouTube channel. <laughs> um, I learned about these wrestlers watching WCW. Some of them, I think, like the first one I remember is like Yuji Nagata and Jushin Thunder Liger. Um, when they would sit there and come out with those championships. So I'm like, oh, like, what is that? You know what I'm saying? But back in 97, what, 97, 98, young boy Dre 41, um, you know, had, had access to the internet. But internet, honestly, back in the mid-90s was trash. I'm just going to put it out there. Look at that. Boom. Wow. Um, it's like getting on the forums and stuff and finding out like who these I wasn't really interested because I'm like their attires are so basic like why young Dre 41 was interested in the bright colors attires like American wrestlers I appreciated them for being different you know having a different style but it was just something I wasn't used to as of yet and watch the rope wow the rope just basically um, blocked the view of the move but it's cool it's fine no problem uh, but yeah, with Young Boy Dre 41, I wish I was able to. It's so easy for like a kid who likes wrestling now to really know about all the different wrestling that goes on. Like, shout out to my nephew. He knows about wrestlers from the 70s, and he's not even a teenager yet. Like, he has so much access. And if, like, if we had access, wow, he beat him that fast. We're going to run that back. We're gonna run. We might do, um, I think what we might do is... An Iron Man match. I think we're gonna do that. We should have just did an Iron Man match to, to jump off with, but you know what? It's fine. Why the hell is it a SmackDown ring? The hell? That looks. That actually doesn't look bad. <laughs> that actually does not look bad. Um, is it a special? It has to be Iron Man, right? Where's Iron Man at? There we go. Iron Man. Iron Man match. I should have did that from the jump. That was my bad. I thought the match was going to go a little bit longer, but I usually start off with two finishers and give them the max of five. Usually, I don't know, just to, just to give them a little, you know. I got Masahiro Chono. Don't worry. Another video will be up with Masahiro Chono. But I'm going to do Mitsuharu Musawa and Kenta Kobashi. He got a clothesline from hell. Sheesh. All right. So, this is going to be give up is on, rope break on, ring out, DQ on. Entrances, yeah, the entrances are trash. So let's keep that off. And um, interference is off. Match length, we'll, we'll be, be, be do 10 minutes. <laughs> we'll do normal. Arena is going to be a pay-per-view arena. The mat, I guess, two? 
I don't know. I wish they had a picture of it. It would have made it life a lot easier than, you know, just saying Matt 2. But I'm pretty sure there's a form online that will tell you what it is and how to set it up and everything like that. So it, it's fine. Also, another great thing with this game is the, the, the load times are so fast. They are so fast. And once again, these are the base move sets for both these calls. I didn't change anything. The only person who move set I changed a little bit was the Great Mudas. And the only reason why I did that was mainly because they, they didn't give him the Poison Mist. So they gave him the clothesline from hell. Wow. Like, I did see it, but I'm, now since I'm thinking about it, I guess that, that works the best, honestly, for him. I mean, any other move... I mean, the burning hammer, the burning clothesline. But I want to see him do the burning hammer, too. I don't know if he'll be able to get it off. But um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, back to what I was saying, man. Just as a kid, just, like, what I was able to watch. Like, my, my childhood, wrestling-wise, consisted of, of course, WWF, um, WCW, um, ECW, of course. But it was, like... Trying to catch them on TV and also staying up late enough to watch them was hit and miss. Whenever I did stay up late enough to watch it, I watched it. But, um, oh, uh, what else? Women of Wrestling? I remember watching that. Wow. Wow. I watched Women of Wrestling back in the day. That's nuts. That's crazy. And it was bad, too. It was, like, really bad wrestling. I don't remember watching Ivory. Uh, my memory kind of... I remember it was like this tag team with like women who were prisoners or something like that. I remember that. Like, it was really gimmicky wrestlers. Like, it, I mean, like WWF on 12. Like, I mean, forget 10. It was on 12. Like, it was just really corny and not great. But I remember watching that. Um, like I said, Japanese wrestlers... Of course, you know, WWF had theirs. You know, Taka. Uh, uh, Kayentai. Um, shoot. I remember they had the great Sasuke on Raw. I remember that. And he beat, uh, no, Taka beat him. Taka beat the great Sasuke on Raw. If you guys don't remember that, you're not real wrestling fans. The great Sasuke had a match in WWF. It had to have been Raw. Yeah, it was Raw. It was Raw. Because he, was def he defended the light heavyweight championship. Um, I remember watching Jushin Liger. He was on the first episode of Nitro. I remember seeing that. I was like, oh, man, like, that character looks tough. Like, it looks different. He looked like, like a superhero. But it was almost brought you back to, like, when watching, and this is aging me, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, it's like watching um, Power Rangers, you know, like, just just the, the just those type of shows, man. And it, it was pretty cool, like, back in the day. And as I got older and, you know, WWE, like, okay, anybody... Who enjoys something. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're going to dive deep into it. And really try to. You know. Understand and learn the minutia of everything. And it was just like. Okay I got American wrestling. But wait a minute. Those wrestlers have on masks. And they perform a luchador style. So let me look into that. Or, or you know. Japanese style. Strong style. Or, or the European style. Where where it's more you know grapple based. And tech, more technique. And everything like that. And it was like when the internet really blossomed, um, I want to say late 90s, early 2000s, it was like, oh, I could watch this. Or I could, of course, the picture was not great. The quality was not great back in the day, but now it's, you know, excellent. Um, you could watch all these matches, and, and that's the thing that I appreciate so much, and that's how I have an appreciation for these two wrestlers here, is because I was able to go back and look at their great matches and why they're considered legends, and why they're looked at as legends in the business, and, and they are. Um, I couldn't imagine just being a WWE fan. I, I couldn't imagine dictating what I believe wrestling is based off of one company. I, I could not imagine that because that seems like such an empty existence when there's so much out there. And that's one thing that, you know, if you if whoever's watching this, if you guys are just uh, WWE fans, look into other stuff, man. There's more to wrestling than just Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. And don't get me wrong, NXT is great. Raw is getting better. SmackDown has always, for the most part, to me. Uh, have been better than Raw. Um, there's so much more to, to wrestling than just that. And I feel like we 
you, you guys have the opportunity to watch this stuff on YouTube. Look it up. I mean, if you guys want to subscribe to the um, New Japan World, do it. There's a bunch of wrestling of the Fight app. They got more than enough wrestling on there. Of course, you don't got to order everything, but go on YouTube. Look up guys that you haven't seen before, even on AEW. You know what I'm saying? Like, look up people like um, Orange, Ca uh, Orange Cassidy. Look up these people. Look into their matches. Become a fan of them. Brian Cage. Um, look up uh, Amazing Red, who's going to be in the uh, Juniors Cup in New Japan. Look him up. Look up this stuff. And, and really, me personally, look up this stuff. The way I feel about it is, you'll, get, you'll gain a better appreciation for the for wrestling in general if you watch that stuff that's how i feel about it i mean i really feel like you would really like what you see and especially the matches between uh misawa and kobashi what look look up those matches and the, the nonsense they used to do to each other oh my goodness just look at the nonsense they did man they beat the hell out of each other every match and honestly i'm gonna keep it funky to me I contribute that to how Misawa died, honestly, because basically he got decapitated. Basically, that's what happened. He died in the ring from what German suplexes getting dropped on his head, uh, brain busters, burning hammers, lariats, everything, power bombs that he took. Dude, like he was the prime example of if Stone Cold continued to wrestle, if Edge continued to wrestle, if Sheamus continued to wrestle, that's what could potentially could happen to them. So I'm not even mad that, you know, some wrestlers retire when they, you know, get these these horrible neck injuries or, you know, the, the, the wear and tear on their neck has just gotten to a certain point where they just can't go anymore. And it, use this as an example. Mitsuhara Masawa stayed in wrestling way past his prime. And yes, he was a top name and always was a top name in Japan. And, you know, he always could sell tickets, but it was just like, he just went too, he went too long. He really did too much. And eventually it came down to him being not killed. I, I can't even say that because it's a freak accident. It's nothing like they intentionally tried to kill Masawa in the ring, but he died wrestling. And this is one of the legends in Japan. I mean, in Japan, man, if you haven't watched a match... They go all out. They beat the hell out of each other. And it's something to really appreciate because they take that form of entertainment seriously. Super seriously. And I think I might change... I think I might change Masawa finisher to the, 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 tiger, the tiger driver where um, he drops them on their head. They have that in this game. And 2K doesn't. Which is truly amazing to me. The one thing I will have to say, if any in any wrestling game, I want to see, um, I want to see wrestling moves, a plethora of wrestling moves throughout the decades, moves that even wrestlers, you know, like that's why I want like a generic wrestling game. Like Fire Pro should be on both systems. Why it's only on PlayStation is beyond me, but you know what, it is what it is. I, I can't even complain about that. But there has to be one where it's the definitive wrestling game where they update it they add people like if they're able to get like um honestly I, I to be honest i want like a new japan wrestling game on console i would love that um if i would have to import it to play well i shouldn't have to i mean it would just be on xbox or playstation whatever the case is but um, I would love to, to have a game like that. I would love to be able to play that game and, and really get to use Japanese wrestlers and not have to create them. Like, you know how, like, honestly, that would free up so much cause that I would have to make if I had a Japanese wrestling game. Like, honestly, like, it really would. And, I mean, I don't know. Just, just in general, man, if you guys are wrestling fans, don't just watch WWE. Watch everything. If there's an indie show in your town... Go to it because these are the stars you're gonna see in the future. Like Darby Allen, I seen Darby Allen wrestling. Now he's on AEW. Well, he been on AEW, but you know what I mean. Like I got to see him. I got to see uh, Joey Janela. I got to see a lot of wrestlers that you see on TV now 
watch them on the indies man like when an independent show comes to your town go to it don't just sit there and watch wwe and dictate what wrestling is based off of what you see on wwe television that is not the case at all oh he got the moon so off oh well kenta won wow four to one he swept kobayashi i mean uh, misawa but thank you guys for watching like subscribe comment catch you guys on the next video later